Hello guys and welcome back to Jerry's Garden. I've got my tea as usual, upbeat one because I've got a busy day and I need some energy. I'm just gonna have a little sip before we start. Nice one. Right, okay. Today I would like to talk about essential oils and the fragrance oils. What is different? What is good? What is bad? Why we uh, why we using them anyway? Right. Basics are when we born, we don't have taste, smells. We learn as we go during our life and name senses like like sweet taste, uh, like apple smell, whatever. Right. That's a different because as a baby, we don't know lavender smells like this, chamomile smells like this. I will tell you why is the, this is important later on in this uh, video. Right, pure essential oils, what are they? They extracted from the plants, they are plant material. You can get them from roots, bark, leaves, fruit, flowers, any botanical or any natural part. How you extract them is that you can distill them, you can have a CO2 extraction and you've got other uh, processes to extract pure essential oils. Pure essential oils are concentrated, they should be tested for any pesticides, herbicides and fillers and they should be all these chemicals free. That's why, why you, you need to be careful where you buy in your essential oils. And uh, why are we using them? We using uh, the essential oils for aromatherapy, which is the benefit uh, we benefit from these essential oils. Our body benefits, our mind. And if I use a pure essential oil in my diffuser, let's say chamomile before sleep, it's inducing me to re relax my body, relax my muscles, my mind stop racing, and I just enjoying it like a calming feeling. Okay, I've got one sample of uh, pure essential oil and i show you how to look at the bottle uh, when you buy essential oils. Uh, the reason why is because there are so many companies claim that their oils are pure, 100% uh, natural. However, be careful, read, not sure, contact the company. Right, I'm using in my aromatherapy uh, for my clients as well, uh, Simply Earth Oils, this is the bergamot, I don't know if you can see it, it's a bit bright, bergamot essential oil, this is 15 milliliter bottle and retail price online is $9.99, if you purchase any, I don't say you have to go for Simply Earth, there are so many other companies, look at the packaging, if I look at on this one, I know that uh, my bergamot essential oil, this bottle, was extracted from fruit peel because bergamot is like a lime looking fruit. Uh, the fruit was uh, from Italy and the ingredients it's uh, citrus bergamia which is Latin name for uh, bergamot. <clears throat> this is natural smell. This is derived from the plant and if you peel lemon, lime, orange and you see the citrusy smell that's when you get the essential oils that's the essential oil concentrated in the peel and they are they uh, function as a protection for the fruit from uh, animals or insects if you distill them you've got basically in the one bottle can go over 45 46 uh, kilos of uh, peel to actually extract the oil okay that's the pure essential oil for the aromatherapy this is the way to go because you benefit and you feel the benefits from this oil and they natural okay now let me move to fragrance essential oils what are they the fragrance essential oils were invented for us as a human beings to imitate the smells that can be naturally uh, derived. Uh, usually one the typical one is the uh, cherry and apple. These two has got 
very different, you know, chemical compounds. You don't find anything natural in the bottle of fragrance oil. There is a guy in the lab with his white coat doing a little bit of this chemical, a little bit of that, and you end up with uh, fragrance oil. If you, I purchased this, I will show you this. This is the Mood uh, Cherry, it says essential oil. It's wrong, it's not essential oil because this sort of smell, uh, like cherry, you know, when you eat uh, sour cherries or drink any drinks, cherry flavored drinks, this is not natural taste. This is taste we learned that to remind us that the cherry is got the, the acidity. If you pick the cherries from the tree, you smell them, it's nothing like it. Right. What you do with this? Bear in mind, this is the uh, loads of chemical compounds in it that can cause you rush. They can, uh, you know, uh, give you a headache. You can feel dizzy. Sometimes you can even feel sick. This is uh, for aromatherapy. This is big no-no. And I would advise you or warn you, not advise because I can do any advice. Uh, think twice because you've got so many pure essential oils but if you like a cherry smell there is other you know senses you probably like as well uh, you know explore don't stick with this uh, I just read recently some sort of a study about uh, fragrance oils and they were stated that uh, Fragrance oils are actually harmful much more if they in the candles because everywhere you go, if you look at the candles, if it says fragrance oil, it's probably full of chemicals. Uh, I'm producing or I'm having my candles done for my clients from a friend of mine and I supply her with the pure essential oils and that's how they fragrance which they, they save or they get the benefits of aromatherapy. Me personally, I understand that sometimes if you need any uh, essential oil and you can find anything you fancy, it's just like, oh, I smell this, because if I open this and I smell it, it's just like, it smells literally like cherry vodka, you know, when you pour it in, but it doesn't give you any benefits, guys. The way to go is the pure essential oils because your body like it, your mind like it and you feel relaxed. Okay, I think this video just help you to some sort of, you know, decide it or like be more cautious what you purchase and I know if you are making like uh, my products for my clients and I want them to experience the benefits I do because I wouldn't supply them with something I wouldn't use if that makes sense but also I purchased this because one of my clients really really wanted cherry body butter I wasn't really you know keen about it to make it however I suggest just because it's very good friend I will do that for you but you're not gonna have any benefits whatsoever she was happy with that as we all are but guys you know get you know your hands on pure essential oils don't breathe or soak the uh, chemicals because our body is precious and you know when we go goes throughout the life i read an interesting book about one of the ecologists the U u.s ecologist uh, and she says during our life when when we eat when we sit in the garden we expose to the chemicals that our body can break or we can you know get it out from the body and what does it happen your body just store that chemicals nice and quietly and it's building and building and building and building until you know you reach the dose that your body can handle it and you can start having chronic pains uh, you know sickness you can even die uh, your organs stop functioning because it's that chemical is basically circulating in your body. 
Right, I hope this video help you to, you know, just see what is the difference between um, pure essential oils, natural, from nature. Only thing I would say, don't consume them, doesn't mean they natural, they, they safe for consumption. We never ever said, and in aromatherapy, you always said to people, forget anything like, oh, I'm just gonna get the one drop into the glass of water, mix it, and I will feel the benefits inside out. No, because bergamot or any citrus uh, essential oils like lemon, so some of the companies recommend you to one drop of lemon to boost your immune system. No, because of the burn your esophagus all the way to your stomach and can upset the stomach as well. And bear in mind, it's, uh, this is chemical compound, natural chemical compound, and what you've got in one bergamot is fine because your body can handle it, but in one drop it could be 10 bergamots, which could be overpowering for your body. That's always handle them with cautious and use in aromatherapy, less is more, always remember that. Because, oh, I can't smell it, I'm just gonna put more, more, yeah, half a bottle is fine, no. Because even your body can actually get overloaded and it's not good for you. Fragrance oils, I can't really talk about any positive impact on you, on your body. Avoid them. I've got this bottle for ages and, you know, if somebody wants like fruity bath or and uh, they don't like lime, lemon, orange, bergamot, they want something like fruity and say like a cherry, I was just like, okay then, just, you know, be mindful. Right, okay guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you here again. And I decided also to do as a like essential oil profiles and I will tell you about each essential oil uh, where they came from, how they extracted, what is the background, how people actually discovered that each and different oils got a different impact on your body, on your mind, on the healing. And I will start shooting this blog, blog probably sometime next week. Just look here. If you like this blog, please share, comment, visit my website, which is here. You see my merchandise t-shirts, brilliant. And I will talk to you later. Take care, guys.